Not used to going first. I actually was eating, so I don't really, I didn't prepare. But uh, anyway, we'll go from here. You know, these guys behind me are leaders of our football team. I see Graham guys are wearing the family deal. I think we all stole that from the basketball thing. But, you know, our, our motto this year is forget about me. Guys, we got a, we got a bunch of seniors that are back. we got Luke Madden here with us. He's an offensive lineman. We've got Elijah Burnett, who is like a, a dual player, plays a little offense, plays a little defense. We've got Austin Bryant, quarterback. We've got Kobe May, running back slash linebacker. We've got Caleb Hester, uh, defensive back. And we've got Jordan Moore, defensive lineman. Brought these guys with us today because they've been a big part of our program, been a big part of our team. Uh, and, we, you know, right now we're looking at, I want to say we got like 21, 22 seniors on our team. We've got a big number of kids out counting our JV team and our varsity team. Right now we got like 121 kids out for football. Guys, last year our team finished 10-4. We, we lost to uh, Southern Alamance early, and we lost to Northeast and, and Western Alamance, and, and then we, we kind of got on a roll. I thought our team grew up a little bit after uh, – after the season got going. We, uh, we we made a little run in the playoffs, beat a really good Southern Nash team, lost to Jacksonville in the, in the third round. We, uh, we've got like eight starters back on offense. We returned like seven starters on defense. So we got the nucleus of, of, of some guys who have been experienced. Uh, we do have a new offensive coordinator. His name is Will Walker, Will Woodstead, Coach Ag, who have been with us for about 20 years. Uh, <laughs> Coach Will, you might want to come up. Here's my ask some questions that you might be the one to answer. But uh, <laughs> Coach Walker played with us in the 2009-2010, somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, Coach Acton, the head child at Eastern Guilford, you know, we, we didn't hesitate to name him as our offensive coordinator. He's an Eastern Alamance guy. Uh, he knows our system and, and has stepped right in when Coach Ag left. To introduce the rest of our coaches, we have JT Kirby coaching receivers. If you guys would stand, if you would stand, so I don't leave you out. We have Mr. Madden, who's just he does a little bit of everything. Um, and Torrance Carl, Torrance Carl, who is uh, coaching our running backs and tight ends. We got Matt Ayers, who's our game day operations man. Coach Randy Ballard coaches our outside linebackers. Uh, Keenan McCauley coaches our receivers. His dad, Danny McCauley, to the right is our defensive line coach. Coach Warren's helping coach out our offensive line. Uh, Cameron Williams coaching our DBs. Coach Stokes, our defensive coordinator and DB coach. And we got some that aren't here. So, uh, but anyway, that's, that's kind of the nucleus of our group. Again, you know, I, we're, we're like everybody else. You know, we're, we're wanting to play. Uh, we, we scrimmaged Page High School a couple days ago. We had some great things happen. We got some work to do. And, uh, so we did some good things, did some bad things. Questions from you? Or questions for any of these guys? Well, I don't think it will affect me that much. I was born in this world, I feel like. So I started off running back all my life, so we want that to exist. And to, and to kind of follow up what he was saying, we were at a 707 this summer over Dan and Colby, our running back from a year ago and for, for the last two years, catches the ball, falls down, breaks his collarbone. Had surgery three or four weeks ago, and uh, so he's out for a while. But hopefully he'll be back by the time the conference starts. Big loss, but you know we, we've got some guys that are filling in. Hopefully this can make us better as a team. Special teams. The question is how special teams and. You know, I feel like we're probably like a lot of these guys in here too. You know, special teams is a third of the game. And, and we do a lot. I mean, we did a lot during the spring and have continued. Jackson T, kicker, punter, he's been there for ever since he's a freshman. Uh, he's still handling those duties. He's a good kicker. He, he does great things. 
He can light the guy with much talent, man. That ball sounds different when he kicks it. But he is a, he is a good player. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I think that we work hard on that because that is a game changer. And, uh, but Jackson's kind of our specialist. And, and some of these guys right here are, you know, they're kick returners and, and so forth. Does that answer your question? The question was, the loss with Coach Ag, what does that kind of do, do to us? And and what effect does it have on these young It has a big effect in that, you know, Coach Ag started off at Eastern 20 plus years ago. And and I think it was a really hard decision for him. He actually got married on the football field at Eastern Alabama, which tells you a little bit, either he's crazy or he didn't, couldn't find a cheaper venue to, to get married at. But uh, anyway, he was, and you know, I think he struggled with it. He, he uh, but it, it was time. I mean, he's going to be a, a great football coach. And, you know, we, we, he had a lot of energy, he had a lot of wisdom, uh, a lot of experience. But, but I think along in, in any program, I think, you know, Coach Stuffer's been in this a long time. Coach Fritz's been a long time. You know, you, you try, you, you want coaches on your staff that, that want to be a head coach. And, uh, you know, I think that, that he's always had that niche that he wanted to be. We, we miss him. And, uh, but you know what I learned a long time ago? And I've been at East Mountain Man's for, forever. If, if I left today, there's still going to have a football team that they're going to play. And, you know, our, our guys, we, we miss him. We talked about him. And, and I'm sure that on Friday nights, that's going to be one of the first scores that we look to see how they did. And uh, I, I think he's truly an eagle, too. And, you know, maybe we like Eastern Gilbert a little bit more now that he's there. Well, I think that, you know, we all play under Coach Ag, and I may let him answer that question. But uh, I think that, you know, we all, we was the quarterback in our state championship game in 2010. And, uh, you know, he and he, Coach Ag were hand in hand as a player and as a coach the last couple of years. But I may let him answer that. To be honest with you, I mean, it's a lot of the same things. Coach Hack the foundation for the last 20 years. Um, I was actually a student at Eastern when Yoko left and Ag became an office coordinator. Uh, so I've known Ag my whole life from growing up, from you know, five years old, playing PB ball, all the way to playing with him and then coaching with him. Uh, Love him to death. Uh, he taught me everything in the game. Uh, we're not making any changes really. Uh, we're just going to be the spread. Uh, I, like, I like tempo. I like throw the ball. Um, we got a guy like Austin throwing it and we got some guys. Uh, like Coach Griffith said, we got a lot of guys returning, so that made my transition super easy. Um, up front, we basically got everybody back. Uh, Seavers were a little young, but Coach Kirby, Coach McCauley doing a great job with them. Uh, they're going to do a great job. And, uh, we just basically, I can't screw it up. So the foundation's there. We had 22 points a game last year. Uh, so basically, if I just keep it in the road, it'll be okay. Uh, these guys trust me. I told them I'm going to make a mistake. Uh, you're going to make a mistake, but we'll be okay. As long as we get together as a family, as a team. Well, you know, like, like Coach Walker just said, last year we lost Josh Robinson and Jake Day as receivers. I think that those are two big shoes to, to fill. Josh really came on the latter part of the year and kind of was able to put his track speed with football speed and, and he made some plays. And, you know, I think probably at the end of the year that was probably one of Austin's favorite, favorite receivers. <coughs> Zach Dixon, another guy who left who was not flashy but, but great hands. Uh, you know, we're going to have some new faces at receiver and I think that's going to be the, I mean, that, those guys are going to have to grow up in a hurry because, you know, that's, that's our most inexperienced spot. We, uh, you know, we return a quarterback, return a running back, and uh, we got four out of five offensive linemen back. So that's that's the best area. Coach, you good? Guys, thank you.